It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back, guys, to another EU4 late game, which, as you guys are already aware, I'm not a big fan of late game. On EU4... Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it at all. Cannons. Cannon army. Alright, we're going to send these guys back with the mission just to intercept and disturb them. That's all I really want to do. They've taken that fort. That one and that one. We could take them back pretty easy because they're low level forts anyway. Oh, there's one here too. Okay, I'll dodge that one too. Um, what's this? Oh, okay. I wondered who they were. Uh, I'm gonna go here. Gonna go here. I'm learning all the hotkeys here, boys. Oh, actually. Oh, Christ, I should have done with the siege guy there. And legalism. Ooh. More revolutionaries. Can't go there. Oh, they're taking this fort as well. Uh, diplomatic points. Yeah, we'll spend them. More prestige. Chance of a new heir. Oh, that's useless to us. We don't have problems with heirs in that current government type. Alright, I want you guys to go. Oh, we're going to go here. And bombard. And maybe do it in a single turn. Did we occupy them here? Yeah, we did. Nice. Oh, they have an army that's just arrived. That I would guess that's a Merc army. Ooh, that's a big stack. That makes me a little bit nervous. We intercept you? Yeah, we can. Got him, boys. Got him. Oh, and you're running the wrong way. Okay, that's not very good for you. Uh, legalism. So revolutionaries don't want to destroy the nation, do they? They uh, just want to change the government type. So... Alright, you're going to run away forever and a day, so I'm not going to bother about you. Can move you guys here. We can intercept that northern army. We just want the forts anyway. We occupy all the forts. That would make me a happy man. Realize we have no manpower again. Are we going to slacken standards again? Yep. We could just hire a bunch of generals to get our professionalism back up again, couldn't we? Never thought of that. This is a fort, this is a fort. Okay, that's the essence that I'm looking for. Um, where are the forts again? Because I'd like to get as many forts as possible. This one, this one, this one. They're willing to accept a pretty much absolute victory now. Cool. Alright, that's it. Oh, damn, they're rich. Who are rich, man? Nice! Now we need to sit tight for a little while. Actually, there's no point. I was, I was, about, I was about to say we need to exercise our troops, but there's no point at all. Um, yeah, there's no point exercising to gain professionalism. We could just hire a bunch of generals. I feel like when you're rich in this game, there's no limits to what you can get. Well, I don't mean rich just on money. I mean rich on everything. Please don't intercept those revolutionaries. Please just let them... There you go. 
Yeah, just can you walk by the revolutionaries, please? Um, yeah. Excellent. Hundred and twenty one eep. So yeah, th this is one of the reasons why late game you either get pummeled by everyone else because you don't either keep on your military tech. You s it feels like military tech becomes like the uh, super super required to continue and fight late game, which is okay. I makes makes sense really because you got to have good quality armies to fight. But also, if you can't, if you are top of the world and you've got the best army, you kind of just have this massive coring thing, and I just don't really find it very fun. I'm sorry, guys. Am I moaning? I'm really sorry, guys. There's no moans today, Dave. Newfoundland, Liberty Desire, 46%. Mexico is currently at war with... I don't know who they're at war with. New Grenada, for some reason, has low Liberty Desire. Don't ask me why, no idea. Can't have any more rivals. The rebels have crossed the border. Oh. Bunch of rebels inside of Afghanistan. Ah, uh, the relations are too low, right? I bet they're. Li oh, hang on. So, why aren't we axing them? And axe in them. Been at 46% for a very long time. Lisbon Rebels. I think we can take these guys on. Oh! The Rebels spawned right on the top of us. Okay. In that case, you guys can go. Whoa, the rebel stacks, they're everywhere. God damn, boys. Oh my god. Whoa, that's a big one. The revolution has begun. Interesting spawn right on top of us again. I think we need to stop the drilling, boys. I think we're getting uh, ahead of ourselves. Damn, get wrecked. This is going to be a problem. Cores are working on it, and in a few more months, then we're done. Okay. Um, tech up. Core install on its way. Oh, that's right. Attack over the border. Are they still a great power? We've got seven plates now. Yeah, so the only thing I need to do at the end of this campaign, the two things I need to do, is one, we need to dis try and solidify ourselves as a world power. So in that case, we need to try and shake up Ming and probably shake up France a little bit too. Not too highly fussed about doing it to the UK though, because the UK is over water and I have to ferry, ferry troops back and forth, which I'm really a big fan of, so I don't want to do that. Finding people of your culture seems to be a little bit tricky this late game period, doesn't it? Got him. Alright, you guys go here. 
So at this point, we need to take out Bengal. Whoa, we just lost stability. That's the first time I've seen that in a very long time. Boop, we're back to normal. There we go. That was, that was brief and quick, wasn't it? Okay, so at this point, do we take out Bengal? I think we should. We need to wait for the cores, though. So why come we couldn't... I'm confused about Afghanistan. How come we didn't fully annex them? Mamluk noble rebels. Oh man, we have no military points. Okay, it's the first time we've seen that in a while. Hey, and the cause have arrived. At long last. Hmm, right next to me. Thanks, dude. Boom, dead. Hmm. that aggressive aggressive expansion impact that I really need right now oh, it's, it's a shame you can't bank more than a thousand points isn't it because that's when I need it most it's like moments like this I need my points but uh, before I was spending them on well random crap really Oh dear, they're not doing very well with the rebels, are they? The Emperor of the HRE is Burgundy. Huh. Manpower is slowly and truly coming back, which is good. Something I'm not checked on a while, manpower. That's perfect. Awesome. See, right now, I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm so rich that these clicks are just like micro that I just could do without. Guys, I have become so rich right now that the clicks are beyond me now. Dave is role playing as a authoritarian monarchy rebellious king god godlike man. I've got look, I've got so much money. I'm so rich. Okay, at this point, uh, at this point, it's pretty stupid doing anything more, right? Uh, Galatian separatists, no. No. No, 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 no. Alright, let's go to war with Bengal. They are guaranteed. Ah! Oh! <laughs> We're gonna have to go to war with them again, wouldn't we? What about Jampu? Jampu. Um, go here. Go here. Go here. Oh my god, 57%? The one roll. One roll to rule them all. Oh, another roll too. Man, these guys must be really poor. Wow, they must be incredibly poor. These forts are all crap. We're, we're one rolling forts. And uh, we've got the Aurea as well. Is that it? That's all their forts, isn't it? Yep. In that case, time to go into the mountains of the Aurea and start 
fighting them there. Okay, they've got decent forts. They had decent forts. Go. Go, go, go. Alright, done. They're capturing those forts off us, but those are, quite frankly, crappy low-level forts anyway. <coughs> what do we do with our admin points? There we go. Spend them. What was the capital of the Oriat? Oh my god, the general just died just before he intercepted. Oh, that is so insanely unlucky. Uh. Can you please leave this war, please? Wow, they're actually quite wealthy. I cannot believe that they're still fighting. Ugh. I'm not really sure how taking money from them helps, helps me at this point. Doesn't, to be fair. they trio want right now results in you getting completely crucified oh boy oh, I don't even have their capital what do you know I even know I, ha I didn't have it oh I think I did but then they captured it back okay Completely annex them? Yeah, we can. Still hasn't put us over 100% aggressive expansion, too, which is good news. 80%. Cleaning up the map. Faithful ally wants to go to the war of the Ottomans. Sure, whatever.
The diplomats died. Trade die guy, 39. Not even checking the ages now. It doesn't even matter. I'm so filthy rich. It doesn't even matter. How did he manage to move through Constantinople? I'm sure that's a zone of control, isn't it? Oh my god, Albania is so strong. Seventy-one percent. Oh, come on! Not in a single roll, really. Got him. Does seem like the uh, Afghanis seem to be getting a lot more rebels than we are right now. Okay, this is a big fort, but the capital was a... Is it a level one? It is. The, the capital is a level one. That's why we siege it so quickly. Yeah, okay. I was wondering why we kept accepting that as a, a school. Prove relations, defending our provinces, together in a war, vassal. Alright, when the cores are done, we're going to go for another war. I don't know who we're going to go against, though. I think we're probably going to go against Bengal. Oh, they're no longer guaranteed. Oh, no, they're they are. Okay. Oh, it's because I wasn't showing it on the right map mode. Alright, that's fine. Uh, brrr, what do we do at this point? I'm not sure. I think we could take out Bahamas and take a few more chunks out of them, I suppose. Yeah. Send in the infantry. Yay! Thank you for that. Nice easy war. Land theft. Manpower's doing pretty well now. Uh, how's our professionalism doing? Maxed. All right, sell the ones that are crap. 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 How many can we have? Two more. Okay. Get rid of him. These two are pretty good. Ah, I'll keep the rest of them. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we're over the limit by a little bit. Okay. I think we bring an extra army down here to take on them again. And beat them up. Are they going to join though? That's the question. Yes, they are. The infiltration of Albania. There we go. Aggressive Im expansion impact reduction. Perfect. Perfect. And we try to hunt them down and they run away, as they always do. That's a nice big battle. I'm going to try and annex as much land from uh, Bahamas first, then I'll start working on Bengal. Oh, no, 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 you stay here. Four siege, that's so good. I'm not going to... No, I'm not going to. I'm going to hold back from bombarding. We don't need to do... I don't need to do it too excessively because I'm going to lose all my military points. Go 
go here. You guys go here. You guys go here. Boom. Who's this guy? Can we intercept you guys? That's the question. Yeah, we can. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm getting kind of bored of quarantining for influenza. AI yeah, is still pretty aggressive. It still tries to uh, swindle you, doesn't it? Uh, try to work around your uh, your army. Oh, did I just vol? I just chose to retreat, even though I was winning. Hmm. Okay. That was an interesting battle. Oh, did I just merge the armies? I did, didn't I? I wonder what was happening there. Split. Go here. Jeez, still bringing in new armies, aren't they? Won't give up. They are literally fighting for their independence. We've run out of manpower again. Perfect, that's good, that's good. Go here. Two more forts I need, then we're done. Oh, down, they've sieged that down. Shit. Can we get there in time, maybe? Nope. God damn, they're making so many mercs. These are all merc armies too, I know they are. Can we get a one roll? Oh no, no minus 14, that's not a one roll. Huh. All right, engage your guys' army again. Well, there's that fort there, but that's a low-level fort. You're gonna run away. Yep.
a rifle infantry. Uh, Malacca. Oh yeah, Malacca. That's it, they don't have any forts left. So these guys are well and truly defeated. Can we do something really embarrassing by like cutting them off from their coastline? No. Oh, because we're not at war with them directly. We can't actually take land. Oh, okay. The amount of war score we take is not as high. I always forget about that. I'm trying to think of the best thing to do is to advance the frontier. Or make a longer coastline. I think I'm just going to make a longer coastline. Okay, that's good. So now we can start sieging them down. That's good. Where are you going, dude? That's right, run away. Where are you going? Oh, what a fool. What a fool. Alright, one here. And then... One here. Alright, are we good now? I think so. This is a level 8 fort. Yep. The fattest of forts. We're going to have to slacken standards again. You know, think about it. Now you have the ability to slacken standards. It kind of like... Makes manpower doesn't seem as important, you know? Because you have the ability to get free manpower on tap now. Sure, it hurts you in the very, very, very long, long, long run, but... I don't know. Where's their capital? Hang on, where's their capital? Is this one? Oh, it is, yeah. Oh, there's already a breach in the walls. Hang on a minute, who's occupying this? Oh, they're at war with somebody else, okay. Can't go there. Oh, yeah, we can. Whew! No, we're not coring. What? Dave, that's going to hurt me in the long run, that. So, quite frankly, I'd like to completely annex Bengal. That's what I'd like to do. Whether they'll be able to do that, I'm not sure. Oh my god, we always get so cl Oh. Oh, the reason why we can't fire these is because we don't have any problems of that culture. Okay, fair enough. It won't even let me select an Egyptian now. A Catalan <laughs> ruler. Oh my god, he's terrible! That is an awful... That is the worst Sultan I've had in the entire game. Um, I'm going to seize this quick. Yes. Oh my god. General's losing them fast. This is a crazy siege in the mountains. Oh. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Le Carpet Le Siege. I'll just merge those armies. Crap! Um, is there a way you can break them off? Yeah, there is. Uh, but we need those ten artillery pieces. Fifty artillery? I don't recall having that many. Oh, it's because there's more. Okay. It was 30 pieces, wasn't it? 40 pieces of artillery. That's right. I think. Oh, have I just... Oh, I'm going crazy. Okay, let's just... Let's just stop for a second. So 30, um, 4, 10. Bring them together. The wrong one. And that's good. And then another one. That's fine. Alright, that's good now. That's still the artillery army that I wanted. Yep, that's good. So the problem we're going to have right now is that there's two nations occupying Bengal. So that's going to cause problems when we want a peace deal. Hmm. The Great Britain Golden Age. Well, there goes our, all our admin points. I think I may have spent too many there. Hmm. Chocolate imports. <gasps> Manpower recovery. That's a good one. Oh my god. Insta wipe. Shrekt. Okay. Um. Alright, that's it. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Because we've occupied the whole country. Alright. Ugh. So, we've occupied Bengal. Bahamas is now number eight. Trying to think at this point what needs to be done. This nation's actually quite strong. Trying to think what we should do here. I think we should probably just wait because we have to core a few bits of land anyway. So wait for the course to complete and then depending where we go from there really. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. Apart from that, have a good day. See you soon.